Hey, this is Gerald Cigar Street. Now today I'm gonna focus more on the art side of Cigar Street instead of the cigar reviews and talk a little bit about what it's like to make a cigar tool. Now I do have a video that's already up that's a time-lapse video of me sculpting a wolf ashtray. In this video, I'm gonna talk more about like cigar numbers. So the example I'm gonna use in this video is I have a horse cigar number that I'm currently working on. And the fun thing about these pieces is, yeah, you can use a paper clip, you can use a toothpick, and a variety of other items as a cigar number. However, for me, I like the functional pieces of art. Here you have a little bit of a sculpture, kind of like a wine stopper, basically the same concept as a wine stopper actually. But instead of the, the stopper on the end, you have a needle that's used to hold the cigar. So if we get a close up, you can see that, you know, this is a work in progress. So basically it's a horse head. I think on the back of it, what I'm gonna do is add some horseshoes or something to make it a little more interesting. But it's basically a sculpture of a horse head on top of a hat pin or a, a large needle. And that's uh, kind of gives you something to hold on to as you poke it onto the cigar and hold the cigar for those of you that like to know about your cigars. Another example that I have here is I uh, also have an octopus that I'm currently working on. And same concept. So the process behind making a cigar number is first you take the hat pin or you take like a large needle and on top of that what I do is I, I'll take wax and I'll just kind of mold a lump of wax over it and from there I'll start working out the shapes. And this process is very similar to that wolf ashtray that I showed. Uh, the only difference is it's much smaller scale and I'm not just freeform sculpting a, a wolf like I did in that video and I'll link that video to this one. Instead, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm using this needle, uh, which is going to be part of the tool, and I'm going to sculpt the wax on top of it. Okay, so the way wax works, it's a solid piece of material, like at room temperature and all that, so you basically have to heat it up to get it soft enough to be able to work with it. So ideally what I have here is a small crock pot, and within that I can change the temperature here as I need it to uh, heat it up and everything. So if I go ahead and open this up, I already have the crock pot on. As you can see, the wax is starting to get pretty soft, actually a little bit too soft. Now wax you gotta be careful with, it can definitely burn you. But ideally you wanna get it where it's soft enough to work with. This is a little bit too soft. And once you do that, you just kind of form it into a rough shape of what you're gonna work with. And for example, if I'm doing a horse head, I'll kind of do a rough shape of the horse. And from there, I'll just start working out the individual forms. But primarily, this is the material I prefer to use on smaller sculptures like the horse. There are other materials I use for larger ones. Uh, in that wolf ashtray demo, There's a it's more of a clay that I'm using. That's a softer material. I mean, it's, it's fine to work on stuff like that. But when you look at wax sculptures, for example, this horse here, I mean, I'm squeezing pretty hard and I'm not doing any damage to it. Now, if I take a wine stopper for, for example, this piece here, if I put that same pressure on there, I'm going to squish all this detail. So, you know, this is okay to work with. You just have to be a lot more careful with it. I do, do prefer wax, but unfortunately the guy that makes my wax isn't currently making it. So I'm having to use what I have left over. And in other cases, for example, this wine stopper, I'm having to use other materials. So ideally, once you have a rough or design of the sculpture, you then you, at that point, I start using these metal tools, uh, as you can see here, and I go in and I start carving out the detail. This part of the process takes a considerable amount of time, um, but I mean, that's kind of what it takes to, to, to build these out. But this is how I make them. I mean, you can make these things out of anything. Um, you can, if you have the needle, you can make a, uh, take a golf ball, make one out of a golf ball, make a mold of it, and then have sculptures. So it's a pretty simple process once you kind of understand the background of how to do it. So that's a brief overview of how I make the cigar number. Basically taking a needle and adding wax on top of it and just kind of forming the shapes and then going from there. Now. I know this is a pretty generic overview, but what I'll probably do in the near future is I'll do a time-lapse video of making a cigar number, very similar to my Wolf Ashtray, and I'll link that video to this one for those of you that have not seen it. But it's just to uh, kind of give y'all a background of, of how these things are made, the materials that I use. This is just the raw sculpture. This by far is not a finished product. This will actually melt in heat, so this is just something that's temporary just to get me at a stage where I can create a mold and then from that mold I go, I'll go ahead and create the actual sculptures and I can do a video on those at another time if, if y'all are interested. So just a little bit about art, how the artwork is done behind the scenes and for those of you that are curious on how to make a cigar number. <laughs>